Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. We are your choice for the conservative voice and everything you want to know about the Illinois pension scam. The Illinois pension scam is written by Bill Zettler, and also it is forwarded by our founder, Jack Roser. Bill, Who has been publishing these facts, you could get them for over 15 years, the running story of this crummy battle with the unions. Jack, you have been championing the, the accountability and the exposure cause before it was even cool to have accountability and people see where all these things were listed. You, you, you started this. You were the fire starter for this. I've been a skunk at the education picnic uh, for over 40 years. That's good. We need more skunks. Be a skunk. Now, Bill, what was what were you saying to me during the break? You were saying you have a few final words you want our listeners to hear. Well, what we have to understand about the pensions, everybody's heard about the eighty billion that we owe, et cetera. That's that's complicated. How do you get that number? But believe me, it is a lot more than eighty billion. That is a best case scenario, and there is no best case scenario coming in Illinois in the next ten years. You're talking about at least twice that much that will have to be paid eventually by taxpayers. It cannot be paid. It will not be paid. All we're doing is deciding when they're going to figure that out. They figure it out now or they figure it out five years from now. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you mean it can't be paid or it will not be paid? What's the other alternative? What, what, what are the implications and what can happen? This has happened all over the country in smaller jurisdictions. In Rhode Island, pensions were cut by 50 percent because they could not be paid. They kept putting off the decision to, to lower the pensions, put off, put off, put off. They were cut by 50 percent. A small town in Alabama, they were cut by 90 percent. People who were getting $1,200 a month are now getting $150 a month. Oh, my gosh. So the end answer is the same. It can't be paid. It won't be paid. It won't be paid. There will be, since the state can't go bankrupt, and they put a little, in 1970, they put a one sentence thing in it that you can't reduce pensions. And one sentence, a little complicated. You can't reduce it. And you can't go bankrupt at the state level. But we will go uh, some messy crash is uh, just what's waiting for us out here unless we do something actual about the fact that they've got to reduce the pensions or we will get the damnedest crash of all. There's $80 Absolutely billion right. dollars to, what, what do you really think it's going to be, Bill? Oh, twice that. To $160 billion to pay the pensions that have been rung up by this crazy IEA so, union. It would be, it would be a lot billion. more than that. So 160 is just the past due amount. That's not the, the daily payments. Those have to be made in addition to the $160 billion. Are you talking that people are going to actually have to cut their pensions are going to be cut and they're not going to get as much money? If this is not resolved, there will be, be no answer because there is, will not be enough money. Is that the resolution or is there a resolution? That's that the resolution happen? if they don't solve the problem soon. Okay. In fact, there's a big rift forming between new teachers and the older teachers. Mm -hmm. The older teachers are saying, no, I'm not going to lose my stuff. And the new teachers are saying, if we don't reform this now, there'll be nothing left for us. And they're right. They're absolutely right. There will be nothing for the young teachers. You know what? This is going to wrap up another great edition of Champion News Talk Radio. This situation is dire. The pension reform issue, uh, stay with us because we, we are on top of pensions. The Illinois Pension Scam book, you can get it at championnews.net or you could go to Amazon. We will catch you here next Sunday at 8 a.m. on AM 560 WIND. This is Champion News Talk Radio, your choice for the conservative voice. Make it a great week. I just want to throw in real quick, if uh, uh, I've got one thing to say to all the unions, all the protesters, all the liberals and progressives up in Wisconsin, this is what democracy looks like. Yeah. <laughs>